Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm so pleased to be talking about primary care for obvious reasons. But it is really important because I'm pleased the government's come forward, changed the pensions, which will make a difference for retention. But I'm pleased in the next part of the plan, when I was a clinician myself, 15% of my workload was dealt with chasing letters, admin, these kind of things. And that was borne out in the evidence we heard on the Health Select Committee. So could he comment more about the bureaucracy that he's cutting? And will he ensure that this is just the first step in pushing down on that bureaucracy, because that will improve the welfare of our workforce, but also improve the welfare of our patients as well. Well, I, I know he brings a great deal of experience to these issues, and he's right to, to focus on uh, the amount of clinical time that is often spent on non-clinical uh, issues. So, uh, along with uh, using the NHS app, for example, to send reminders, uh, reducing the do not attends, looking at the interface between secondary care and primary care, which is an absolute key one, looking at those appointments that could be done elsewhere, so through pharmacy, through the additional uh, roles, uh, and the online booking system can better triage people to the right place, and also looking at some self-referral, but not in the way that the bench opposite suggested around internal bleeding and in areas which uh, uh, carried uh, clinical risk, but some of those areas where self-referral, for example, on hearing aids, can be done in a way that, again, takes pressure off GPs, where someone's done a hearing test, that's not something they then need to go and clear through a GP. Uh,